how to create a procurement agent. So what are the steps to create a procurement agent? First is create a employee. There should be an employee in the system. Only employee users can be created as procurement agent. So the users that you create from security console does not mean those are employees. Okay? Those are just the users that you have created. So once you create an employee, automatically a user is created for that. Okay? Okay. So second is, let's say you have to create the procurement agent setup for that business unit or for each business unit for which you want to grant the access. First is create employee and then procurement agent setup. So let me first create an employee, how to create an employee, manage users, so I'll go and click on manage users and click on plus. Varun.emp, this is my username, okay. send username and password and stuff. Uh, what is your email? So let me give my email itself. Okay. Basically, you will receive emails on this, so that's why I just wanted to give higher date. And then person type is employee. What is the legal employer? So we have our own legal entity. business unit so all this is optional so I'm not giving it and let us save and close so automatically uh, employee will be created for you automatically a user will be created for you in the security console Okay, now employee is created. Let us go and check whether the user is created in the security console or not. Can you see these three accounts here? Varun, Varun.emp and Varun at the red gmail.com. Yeah. So this you must have created earlier. Okay, so let me open this. Let me just change the password for this. Set password. Okay, I'll assign since we are here, so let, let's assign all the roles to this user, okay? Okay. 
so we have to assign the buyer role you also have to create it as procurement agent and you also have to give the buyer role to it then we have to give procurement manager preparer and requester let's give all the use roles so that we don't have to switch between users again and again catalogs manager Heather and requester category manager then we have supplier related roles then we need to assign uh, supplier administrator and supplier manager let's give supplier qualification also let's save this now let's give business unit access also for this user you remember how to give business unit access for this user it's in the um, setup and maintenance right right perfect so you have to go to setup and maintenance you remember the task name mm. manage data access you can type manage data access for users can go to this task or manage data access set for users data access basically click on plus give your name varun dot emp select the role business unit varun business unit do this for your procurement roles okay so we have created an employee we have assigned the roles we have assigned the business unit access to this user now we will go and create the procurement agent manage procurement agents click on plus so you will select your business unit then you have to select your employee 
user that you created what will be the default business unit requisition business unit this is active or not then this is important you have to allow access to all these things right yeah basically manage requisitions whether he can manage requisitions or not access to other agents document whether he can access other agents document also or not manage purchase orders whether he can access other agent documents or not manage purchase agreements whether he can access other agents documents or not none is nothing he cannot access view is he can just view it modify means he can edit it full is means he can modify send it for approvals means hold it uh, means uh, withdraw it from approval all those things he can do everything he can do 